What's up guys, got another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at the next figure in TFC Superion line. Well, not Superion, Uranos line, which is their Superion line, which is their Aerial Bots line. This is TFC Eagle, who is an homage to Air Raid, Aerial Bot Air Raid. So this is the second figure we've gotten, as you can see on his rear fin. Pretty cool, you can see it says Air Raid. In uh, Alpha Numeric, which is pretty cool. Um, as you can see here, this is the foot, and it's got this little stand, and you can actually display him in in flight mode, in vehicle mode, on the stand, which is a nice little touch. At least it gives you a place to put the foot, unlike Phantom, who's the fist, you had no place to put it. So it's just a neat little way that they can, you can actually use the foot for something. Uh, unfortunately, you can see it connects just up in here. Let me to unplug it here okay just this yellow piece connects up in here there's two uh two pegs and two holes it goes in there i'll show you that in a second but unfortunately this yellow piece that does connect the body to the foot um is extra in foot mode so there's nothing there's uh there's that bit of that is that extra piece in foot mode so as you can see here is an eagle which is pretty cool it's a very, very, very cool representation of an eagle. Let's uh, actually take him apart in here and take a look at him. So you just separate these pieces and then, as you can see, there's two pegs here and there's two holes in the insides of these pieces, which are the landing gear. And those just go together. You just pinch those all together and then you have the foot. Put the foot off to the side. Um, he does have landing gear here and here, and then in the front, under the nose cone. I'm doing this video the same way I did the other Superior on the other Aerial Bot video, so I'm still getting used to it. But as you can see, stay. Stay. Okay, sorry. So there he is, all landing geared up. He does roll, which is pretty nice. All the wheels do roll, which is cool. Everything on this guy is pretty well articulated. The wings, all the wings are movable. They're tick. They're all mode. You know, you can move all of them. Um, one thing I forgot to mention on Phantom, the cockpit does open, and there is a fairly detailed little cockpit, which is pretty cool. Can't really fit anything in there, but. Nice little touch. Close. So there's not a not a whole lot we can say about his vehicle mode. It does like to come unpegged though. He's very shiny. Very shiny uh, black plastic though, which is pretty cool. It's actually hard to get it all on camera. Maybe he's on just on the underside. So uh Let's take a look real quick at his limb mode, which he is a foot. So yeah, first let's put him off to the side just for a second. And we'll prep the foot. So you take the yellow plastic bit off, throw it to the side. Um, you'll notice this bit right here, where the yellow part pegs into, this, he this kind of hexagon-y shape. You um, actually want to pull that off because you want the flat part up in uh, display mode, but then you want the flat part down in foot mode, so it'll actually fit the groove of the foot. Um, the foot is also very well articulated. It bends a little bit up, very far down. Back goes up, back goes down. And it ratchets side to side pretty heavy on that, on that uh, connection joint there. So I'll put the foot off to the side. Take a look at him. We'll close up the landing gears. So for foot mode, first thing you want to do is lift up the fins just to get them up and out of the way. Um, you want to take the wings and just they peg in right here. A lot of this is going to be hard to get on camera because it's so such a shiny black plastic, but they just unpeg and fold back up and in on themselves 
and they do come off just like Phantom. No big deal. Oh, the other thing I needed to show you real quick. He also has the nose cone can split. And you want when you do this, be careful. You want to actually pull it, don't pull it straight down, pull it out and separate it and then back and down. But he has a drill. Now I'm assuming this is supposed to be some kind of radar dish, but it's not a radar dish. It's just it's a drill. It's the weirdest little thing. I don't get it. I don't understand why they put it in there. But whatever. You're actually supposed to leave this open for transformation for in both mo in vehicle mo in uh, limb mode and in robot mode. But I just leave it shut because I think it looks silly. So we're gonna come up here. We're gonna lift the these bits up. Put them flat back against the body. I'm gonna pull the nose, the cone, nose cone back. And again, this is very hard to get on camera. But you just want to fold the the cockpit back up, and it will, with a little bit of. You hear that? It will click into place. It is a little bit floppy still, but once you get a it position, it's really it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, you're also gonna to want to take the head and just rotate it just for a second. Not gonna show you the face yet. Yeah, you can see his face. Um, you want to pull down on this white part, and then you want to flip the head down. And there's a tab right there and a hole right there. And there's another hinge right there. You want to bend it there, kind of just line up that hole with that peg. There we go. It clicks in. It's not, as you can see, it's kind of hollow in there. It's, but from the front, it looks fine. It's just kind of the way they designed it. So you want to unpeg the legs, grab your foot, and there's a cut groove in there. Oh, hold on. I forgot a step. You want to come in here, right above the thrusters. Again, the thrusters, they got that burned, uh, charred in look on the thrusters, which I really, really dig. But you want to come in on the side here and lift up the thruster panels on both sides and then pull the thrusters up until they're flat like that. That'll give you clearance for the foot. Uh, you can also you can do it either way. You can either leave these fins and they always uh, one problem with this guy which we'll talk about when I talk about flaws uh, go back in Take the foot, plug it in, pinch it shut. Um, you can either leave these fins like this, or you can put them up like that. It doesn't matter. I just leave them back like that for now. You want to make sure this is all pinched together. Um, you don't have to leave the missiles in, but it kind of helps fill them out a little bit. But there he is in foot mode. Gotta get a good shot of him. Kind of big. <laughs> actually, quite large. He's actually, the foot is actually, again, bigger than Hercules' foot. But again, that's what the foot is going to look like. You are supposed to also, like I said, pull out the nose drill, split this open, but I think that looks silly. I kind of like this. I like this look a lot better. But it's actually a pretty clean looking foot. There's not really a lot of kibble. Um, the G1 figure also had the nose cone sticking out of the back too, so there's always that. So yeah, there's not really a whole ton to say about the foot mode. But there's his foot mode. You can also still ratchet him on that. One nice look. Okay, let's get him into vehicle mode, or uh, robot mode. Just gonna split him open. the foot out. Throw that off to the side. And just for now, I'm just gonna close the legs back up and put him back the way he was. Okay, so yeah, from here, first thing we can do is take the fins out, the missiles out. 
Let's take a look at the missiles real quick. For some reason, no one knows why, but the pegs on the missile, I'm not going to do it all the way because it's a pain in the butt to get it out, but they fold all the way in and it makes it flush. Why it does this, no one knows, but they do. They're pretty cool looking missiles, I guess. They're, yeah, they're just missiles. Put those off to the side. So yeah, take a look at him. So next what we're going to do is lift this panel up, get the head back up. I'm just going to flip it around for a minute. Fold the chest piece back up. Notice the, this part can stay back there. Um, these wings we're going to pre-maneuver, so I'm just going to open them up just for a second. Um, what you want to do is you want to just pull, unpeg the arms, which are already unpegged, which is my one complaint about this figure. But as you can see, there's a groove right in there. See, there's a white part here, and there's a groove right in there. And these are supposed to peg in, and they'll line up. But it feels like this arm is a millimeter too long, and they just do not peg in at all. Which is annoying, but it's the only thing I don't like. But you're going to pull this all the way up, make sure that this part goes up as well. Do it on both sides. Fold it down, and then this part right here, we're going to fold up. Creates the forearm and the fist. Again, over here. The, the fists never go away. They're always like that in vehicle mode. So you do kind of always see the fist, but it's not that big a deal. You just peg the missiles into there and it's fine. You can also peg the missiles in here, but putting them in there is cool because it gets rid of, it hides the fists. So then we're going to come up here, rotate the wing up, fold it back along the body, fold the wing tip in. You can really do whatever you want with the wings. Um, is that the way I had it? I think that's the way I had it. I'm pretty sure that's the way I had it. Unless I had it folded in. Maybe I had it folded in? No. I had it like this. That's the one problem with these guys. You, they're really customizable. You can really do whatever you want with the way they are. The way you pose them and everything. I forgot how I actually had them. I'm pretty sure I had them like that. I probably have to flop around. Um, come around the back. I'm gonna pull out the legs. Hold on here. <sighs> Lift up that back panel. And separate the legs. There we go. Pull them straight out. Repeg this. Back in. Um, these bits also rotate if you want. You can have them either way. If you don't like them like that, you can always fold them down. But it kind of gives them kneecaps. Fold these up. The wing tips on the side again. If you don't want, you can put these anywhere you want. I just leave them that way. Make sure these thrusters are fold flat all the way up. Because it creates the heel and makes them incredibly stable as opposed to phantom. Pull out the feet, pull them straight out and rotate them around. Um, this back flap will fold, we'll go back down. Put this back. Rotate the head. And there we have Eagle in his robot mode. mode. So first thing you notice, he does have very, very cool light piping. I do dig that. And to me, I just, I absolutely love the look of this guy. We'll put his, uh, again, you, he has the holes on the sides. So if you wanted to, you could put the missiles on the sides. I think he looks better with the missiles in his fists. As opposed to Phantom, who I think looks better with the missiles on his arms. But, the option is there. Like I said... The pegs go into the missile. No one knows why. Hopefully there's they come out with a reason for that eventually. But yeah. This guy's super articulated. And as opposed to Phantom, he is incredibly stable. 
I do totally dig him. So there we go. There he is in his robot mode. I just said you were stable. Why won't you stand? Because your feet aren't right. Good enough. So yeah. Um, some other neat little things. You can pull down these parts on his chest and he does have little rocket pods. Which is pretty cool. Little painted on details. Um, articulation on this guy is great. Head is on a ball joint. Shoulders go all the way around. Um, just watch out for the kibble on the back. Fence at the elbow. Uh, only one hinge. Upper bicep, uh, swivel, wrists don't only go in and out, they don't rotate, waists, swivels, on a ratchet, which is not cry loud and crackly like the other one, like Phantom, um, these bits do move up to provide you, oh, it does squeak a little bit more, that's alright, it's not as bad as Phantom, I'm not going to bother opening it. Um, so you get a good range of motion, forward and back, in and out. Also very tight at the hips, the waist. Um, upper knee swivel, bends at the knee, that far, nothing forward, and pretty darn good foot articulation. So I, like I said before, I really, really, really dig this guy. I think he's a lot better than Phantom, um, engineering-wise, look-wise, everything. I think he's more of a a actual better figure, a better toy than Phantom. Um, his biggest flaw is, like I said, the arms, when you fold them along the sides of his body for vehicle mode, never stay pegged. Even when you pinch them, they pop back open, they spring open, which is a pain in the butt. But, I mean, once you get him posed, you're really not going to screw with him too, you know, too terribly much. Stay. But I mean, other than that, I really, this guy is great. He is very sharp too. All the edges on this guy are incredibly pointy and incredibly sharp, which is something you want to just be careful of. And again, this is floppy, but I mean, once it's here, it's not going to go anywhere. You can even position it forward if you want, but it's really not that big a deal. So yeah. There we have our look at TFC's Eagle part two of Phantom of Phantom part two of Uranus aka Superion definitely can't wait to see this guy all put together we should be getting uh, not Silverboat Silverbolt who's going to be a blackbird a white blackbird which is going which is very funny looking uh, it's not bad just weird to see a white blackbird but yeah so we'll be taking a look at him soon, but for now, this has been Eagle, we'll see you next time.